ko mo takere taku manga ko taki timu taku waka ko raka huri taku awa ko tai tahu taku iwi ko mahini mato taku hapu ko Lindsay Teatro to McDonald taku ingoa. Kia ora, I'm Lindsay McDonald. I'm a lecturer in the political science department, and I'm director of the Masters in Policy and Governance. The Masters in Policy and Governance is made up of four courses. There's one core course that I teach which focuses on the core components of the degree, which is to think about when we go into a policy job, we have a certain set of technical skills, but actually we're going to immediately start governing New Zealand or governing parts of New Zealand, whether we're in the private or public or charity sector. So it's really important that we come to that with an idea about how to govern ethically, how to govern well, and how to bring society to be together. On top of the core course, you can choose two from political science and another one from anywhere around the university. So if you're a computer scientist, you can come in and take a computer science course. If you're a biological sciences person, you can get skilled up in policy and still have one 400 level course. Anybody with an undergraduate degree who in their 300 level courses for their major got a better than a B average. And we also take anybody who meets similar qualifications. So we have someone with a PhD, we have someone who had a tertiary education and training at one of the Polytech Institutes. The Master of Policy and Governance is a one year or an 18 month course consisting of four courses and a 15 to 20,000 word dissertation. The dissertation is 15 to 20,000 words. We have two ways of doing the degree. You can do four courses over 12 months and the dissertation at the same time, finishing in February, February to February or July to July, or you can do four courses over 12 months and then for the next six months you can do the dissertation. Um, both are full time and qualify for study link. We also have a part time option in which you can do one course a semester for two years and then take in the third year the whole year to do the dissertation. And we've had several um, professional students coming in from policy or governance jobs who have really profited from that and found it a very good option. We thought that what's really required from our experience is that we've all worked in government or around government, that students come out of university filled with technical skills but an awful lot of working in these organisations like the public service or in a minister's office or for regional or local councils is acknowledging the ways in which working for the public good changes the organisations and the jobs. For instance, knowing how to brief a chief executive on how to talk to a minister or how to talk to a board about a particular subject requires more than just subject knowledge. So if you're a scientist and you want to talk about the environment, it's not enough just to know all the facts. You have to think about how to present that information and how to present it in the right context. Talking to a minister is different from talking to a board. Talking to a public meeting is different to going along to a school. So our degree is about helping people recognise all the different institutional structures that impact on how to get better governance for New Zealand. We have been really lucky, um, perhaps we've had great students, but we're at, at about an 80 to 90 percent job placement rate within six months. The field trip 
for the Masters of Policy and Governance is usually mid-year, and we go up on two sitting days of Parliament, so one of the activities is to uh, watch question time after being briefed on it by the Clerk of the House and the questions. We often go and see one of the caucuses and help them prepare question times for that. We also see the Prime Minister, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade, typically the Treasurer as well, and usually I make sure that we're seeing at least one of the Chiefs of Staff for the Prime Minister or the Leader of the Opposition. We see all the party leaders. Um, we have a dinner on the in the middle um, with UC alumni um, so that you can just sit down over dinner and talk with them. You really get to listen to people who are doing the mahi, and I think that's really important. I think there's really two reasons that you want to study policy and governance here. One, it's really hard to study policy and governance with people who have actually done policy and governance work. And three or four of the academics that are teaching have. For instance, I spent 10 years in the public service at, in central agencies in Wellington. On top of that, we hold a field trip, which I would argue probably has the best penetration of any pol politics field trip in the world. I love providing my practical experience combined with the insights from all of the teachers to produce students who can think through how to act in the public interest in ethical ways and become guiding lights of helping New Zealand into the 21st century.